minutes with now. We're going back to the contract. We're going to find out what this um, legend in the industry is up to at the moment. And it's with absolute pleasure that he has taken his time out of our day today to spend some time with us here at Arbley. So please welcome to the frame. Um, it's Aaron, everybody. Put your hands up for Aaron. How you doing, Aaron? Can you hear me okay? Are we working? Are we yeah, live? Right. Are we there? Are yes. All right. Yes, mate. Yeah, thank you. How are you? you. Yeah, good, so, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Marco's nice here as mate. well, this direction. Marco, how are you doing? Good. All right. Looking good. Yeah, he's Got the clock on, and off. there's a new pot on. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I am working at speed today. You know how busy it is at the minute. We are run off our feet, but um, blessed to have Aaron here. Aaron, take one minute to introduce yourself. Full name, full name of the company, and tell us a bit about what you do, mate. Um, so I'm Aaron, I run Elite Arborists. Um, we started in 2015 and then since then we've just been doing um, basically contractual works um, and, and building that side of the company. Um, and we've used Arbly since then to develop our equipment. Um, and it's, it's grown year on year. So now we're doing rail utilities, um, council works, we still do the odd domestics, um, but a lot of our machinery now is based in the commercial sector. Commercial sector, okay, fine. So you started domestic and then matured into commercial work. How did that, yeah, how did yeah, that come about? Yeah, yeah effectively, yeah. Um, we just use the word of mouth at the moment just to pass ourselves around and that seems to be working for us. So I think a lot of, a lot of the sort of domestic work is, is great. Uh, and you've got to clearly define which market you're going into because you're generally going to need, uh, need bigger kit in the commercial world a little bit. I mean, it's been being worked a lot harder. Um, yeah, what, I, I what, think that's the way everyone's going. Everyone's going bigger and better. So everyone else has got to go bigger and better. And it just, you know, you've got to get the job done every as quick as possible as, and as efficiently as possible. And here's me, I just um, thought it was us offering all this equipment, you know, spreading <laughs> the cost and making it more affordable. Maybe like we were causing this, uh, this addiction to machinery. Who knows? It's like a to big toy shop for us, yeah. We've already confessed that we've, uh, that we, we've helped with that and, and thank you for your business. So I didn't know that we'd, uh, we, we played such a, such a big role. And um, obviously you've, you've paid because you've not shown up on my radar. So uh, congratulations to you <laughs> in growing your business with good machinery. What chippers are you using then? Give me a rundown. Chippers, what are you running? Uh, so we were originally running Timberwolves. Um, we've just switched over to Forced. So we've got um, the ST6 Petrols. Um, and some of the XR8s tracked, so they are very track machines. Wow, okay, good um, machine. Mm, lovely machines. So yeah, yeah, going, they're really nice machines. Guys guys really enjoy using them. Uh, we've had no faults with them either. Been, been really, really, really reliable, helpful service as well. So really pleased find, with it um, at the moment. Do you find having the right kit enables you to attract the staff? Because just before we went on air, you were talking about we, we've got loads of work on and we know there's a shortage of good, climbing tree surgeons in the UK. Is it affecting your business, Aaron? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're doing okay, but I mean, I think everyone out there, I mean, when you look at people advertising everywhere, there seems to be a shortfall of tree surgeons across the UK. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, it, it's nice, isn't it, if you walk into a company and you've got the right kit for the right jobs, um, you know, it's gonna attract you, isn't it, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, boy, and also, I mean, uh, more and more ladies are coming into the industry, which I'm welcoming. Um, I'm, I'm all up for that. Um, the, the industry does yeah. need balance, as, as with any industry, but um, having the right tools will attract the right people uh, because people like to play with things. Part of the, uh, is, is not part of the reason you got into tree surgery to play with, to climb trees and play with heavy metal. It's got to be. I mean, it's got, got to be, surely. I mean, it wasn't, I don't know what else yeah, we you into. Yeah. Yeah, well, everyone loves a big bit of kid, don't they, to play with? Yeah. You know, we're all children at heart. They all do, they all do. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. that's enough of that. Right, okay. So let's have a quick screen share and um, have a quick look at your website. Uh, what grinders are you using then? So we know the chippers are on force. What stump grinders? Do you have any? Uh, yeah, we've got the Bandit ZT. Oh, wow. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we, uh, we, took, we took hold of that last year. Um, and that's been really good for us as well, actually. It, it's really compact and good to get in tight spaces, but still powerful enough to get the stump out. So uh, we're really pleased with it, to be fair. You've got the new one coming out, the SG40. Well, you know? Sorry? you got Predator as well, haven't you? No, no, we, we got rid of the Predator. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, you got the, the, that uni mug, I think, because we, we tried to get on live a couple of weeks ago. We did have the internet, but you were saying that you'd sold the mug now. You got, um, you got something else to, uh, to work with or another mug? Or? Uh, that's what we're currently looking at is another mug. We're just, we're just in the market to try and find the right one for us at the moment. Um, but that is our next, our next purchase, I think. So where's the work coming from, Aaron? I mean, you've got a great website here. Uh, I can see the domestic work. You've got the gallery going on. You've got the facts. Um, and, um, and we've obviously got a, got a great uh, Instagram account here, growing strong. But uh, where is this work coming from? Because we're, we're reaching out to the community. We're all trying to grow together. Um, obviously, uh, I think it was is Woody, Steve Woody Hodgson was saying, you know, a few years ago, it would attract unsavory types tree surgery. And it's never been more professional with professional yeah. uh, companies, qualified companies. What gets you the work? Is it the website or is it the, um, the word of mouth? Tell, tell us more. What, what, what makes you uh, I think 90% of our business now comes from word of mouth. And even, even with contracts, you know, I know domestic work gets passed around. Uh, word of mouth but even with contracts now we're we're getting you know other contractors ring us up and say you've been recommended by such and such mm -hmm. and we're picking up contracts that way um you know and again part of the kit they see the kit it's an image thing you know they look at it and they say you can do the job you know um so we are getting a lot of word you know word of mouth spread but there is a lot of work out there at the moment um yes. it's just a case of finding it um, yeah, that, that is. That's the other problem. I mean, it's not. Not. I think it's finding. It's finding the right work in the right location. Um, do you uh, work with other companies as well, or do you try and keep it as much in house as possible? Are you a big fan of the um, of all coming together as a team, or do you generally do most of it on your own? Yeah, yeah. No, we work with other companies, um, especially on the utilities side. Um, you know, we team up and we go out, and you know, we might have several spans in a row that we all we all team together on, and we hit it hard. Um, but yeah, the, we, we do that quite a lot. On the commercial side then, is it rail, is it motorway? When you say it's commercial work, well, clearance work, what, what is it you do mostly? Um, so most of it is uh, local authorities, council. Uh, we, do, we do do the railways, uh, we do the utilities, the overhead power lines, um, and, we, and we do commercial site clearances as well. Do you, need um, do you need platforms then to do the power lines? Is that another bit of kit you own? Yeah, yeah, we own them. Yeah, we've got uh, a Toyota and an Isuzu at the moment, um, and a seven and a half tonner with a mute on it. Um, so yeah, and we've got the the Bandit as well for the the wood chips on the uh, large commercial site. What would you say is your go-to bit of kit then, Aaron? Um, if you could, if it was just that number one piece, I think we asked a similar question to Navin. Yeah. What is that one piece of kit that really sort of serves you well? Uh, I think it's our Bandit chipper. To be fair, yeah. Yeah. what what we can do with in a short space of time is yeah. quite impressive, you know, and, and it just allows you to do large volumes of material quickly, um, you know, with less effort and less staff as well. So that, what that's, model is that, that's Aaron, what model, mate? What model uh, Bandit is uh, it? It's the uh, 12 XP. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a big, big machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, so, um, yeah. You're absolutely right. There's there's more product that's actually you know out there at the moment. I.e., there's more timber on the ground, and what we're finding is more and more is people are making that jump up to that bigger chipper so they can get through that that timber that much quicker and then onto the next one. So you need those higher yeah. horsepower machines, those, that bigger capacity, because it's just yeah. it's just efficiency and it's on to the next one. Um, so yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. Doing well, mate. So uh, the, future, thank you. the future is the Unimog. I was just going to ask, what, why Unimog? What are you missing without having the Unimog? What would the Unimog enable you to do, Aaron, just before we move on? Uh, I think it's just a case of, um, it's, it's an all-in-one machine for us. We've had one before, but I think we'll go bigger next time. Um, mm. You know, it's going to carry larger volumes of material away from site, you know, allow, allow us to tow more equipment into to muddy sites, especially in the winter. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, it just comes down to that image thing, doesn't it, as well? You know, it stands out from the crowd. Well, you've certainly got a great brand on the website. I love the gear. I mean, it's, it's almost military, isn't it? And um, I've always thought, well, I remember going to some of the, uh, the shows, you know, like Soltex and, uh, yeah. and some of the machinery shows, and I was a big fan of, 
of bringing out the military gear because I, I just love the look of it. Anything sort of like that green or that, that gray. Um, I remember yeah. when, when Timberwolf bought out that big black dirty wood chipper. And since then, everybody seems to have gone down that path and they led the way. Yeah. Yeah. That, remember yeah. that show? Uh, and it was the talk of the show, the black Timberwolf. Yeah. You know. um, but it, it's gone that way. And I think it now, you know, are we on 10? He gets excited, you see, because firstly, I try and cut everything out that Marco, uh, Marco gets involved in when I edit the video. So he's, he's got no time management Honest to God, desperately trying no, to get some screen time. <laughs> desperately. Like a diva today. Right, okay. Aaron, we're going to play. Thanks for the lowdown on the company. We wish you all the success with everything you're doing. Uh, not that you need it. You're going from strength to strength. Um, we have got an opportunity now to give away an Arbleese mug and we're going to ask you to take part in our little game today. Um, okay. If that's right with yeah. you. It's the yes and no game. Is that something you've played before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, great. Okay. He knows the game. So, Marco, uh, the rules are, uh, Marco's going to do the count for me. The rules are you're not allowed to say yes or no and it's as simple as that. So No, 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 no. Okay, now, so now we've started. All right, so are you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh he's gone! He's gone! Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. no, 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 not out for another duck! <laughs> Aaron, he's gone! <laughs> Aaron, okay. Aaron, Aaron, oh, this trick in the... Oh. He's got Aaron. Thank you, Seth. That was the second duck we've had of the season, mate. That's it. Done. <laughs> he doesn't even realise he's out. It's done. Aaron, you said yeah, yes, mate. God. Oh, no. No. Aaron, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> we, don't worry, mate. We might have a booby prize. We might have a booby prize, but you never know. Oh, you join, join no. both of them now with Hodgey Hodge and, uh, and Chopper Tom. Thank you so much for your time today, yeah. Aaron. Um, it's been a real great insight into your company. And for anybody looking to get into the tree surgery business at the moment, obviously, you and wh whereabouts are you in the country? I didn't actually nail that earlier on. Uh, Maystone in Kent. There you go. So anybody, any sort of new recruits coming into that area, any climbers uh, looking for work, uh, you're at the minute on the hunt for some good quality yeah yeah no, definitely yeah yeah in touch. yeah all right then fab well that's good for yeah. me from him marco right. um he's sure to get some screen time this time especially as he had his hair <laughs> cut. as you that's did it. yeah on me i'm still growing yeah. birds mate i'll see you soon <laughs> all right thanks a lot aaron Brilliant. Brilliant. Right. take care thank, thank you, you. So a big thanks to Aaron Adams there from Elite Arborists for joining us on 5 Minutes with Episode 8. And thanks to you for tuning in. Marco and myself, we loved it. And it was great finding out about Elite Arborists and how they're growing their business um, over a short space of time, like five or six years. And great to hear as well that Arbleys has financed um, the machinery and vehicles for Elite Arborists. And uh, Aaron's took advantage of his allocation of low fixed borrowings from the banks that we've secured over £40 million from to fund ARB and ground-based industries. So if you're not sure whether you qualify or not, find out, take advantage, otherwise you're missing out. And you can do that 24-7 at arblease.co.uk. You can use that money to fund new or used machinery. You can find it on Arbleys or you can buy from any dealer. Um, if you're looking for a machine and you can't find it, give our team a ring. Myself, Ben, Marco, Tony, we're all here to help you. And what we're going to do is share our network of dealers, over 300 in the UK alone, and help you find the right machine at the right price and um, hopefully take advantage uh, if you qualify for the very low rate finance plans that we offer you. Don't forget, you own the future value. We're just spreading the cost. So everything that Aaron's financed, he'll own the future value, all of it. He's just spreading the cost of ownership and and that's what you would be doing too. So Arbleys is a finance company and we look forward to helping you grow your business moving forward into the future. Five minutes with new episodes coming out soon. If you want to take part and you want to be on the show, we'd love to have you. We'd love to have you. Come and join us. Come and have some fun. Whether you're a manufacturer, a dealer, an importer um, or a company or a farmer or a contractor, let us know. The team at arbleys.co.uk is the email address and we would love to hear from you. All right, guys. Loads to talk about. New machinery being added to the website every day, arbleys.co.uk. So keep in touch on that and follow us on social media, YouTube, uh, Facebook and Instagram. All right, keep busy.
Keep safe. We'll see you soon. Take care.